Hi guys, so in this video we're just uh, continuing to solve this question where we have a steel plate which is fastened by a group of bolts it's subjected by a 30 kN load as shown in the diagram below. Now in the previous video I have calculated the centroid of the group of bolts where it is 100 millimeters from this left hand bolt and 30 millimeters from this middle bolt. Uh, the next thing that we're going to look at is, um, well, firstly, uh, to try to calculate uh, the amount of load that's on um, each one of the bolts, and then um, ideally we'll use that to identify the bolt with the maximum load um, acting on it. Now, uh, how we'll do this is, this 30 kilonewton load, what it does is it creates both a shear force and a torque around the bolt uh, group that we have here. So um, the first step that we can look at is to try to calculate um, well that torque and that, um, that shear force. Uh, the shear force is pretty quick, uh, pretty easy. Um, the shear force is just going to be equal to this 30 kilonewton load um, and we assume that it's applied across each one of these uh, bolts there. So um, there's an overall shear force acting at the centroid um, with some kind of magnitude equal to uh, 30 kilonewtons. Now, um, acting about that centroid, we also have a torque. Um, and, well, that torque we can calculate because we have um, the value of the force, and we also have how far away that force is from the centroid of the bolt group that we have here. And in this case, that will be equal to 100 plus 30, which is 130 millimeters. And so, uh, the amount of torque would be equal to, uh, let's see, 30 kilonewtons multiplied by 130 millimeters is equal to our torque. Um, you can write this as 30 times 10 to the 3 multiplied by 130 times 10 to the minus 3, because that's in millimeters, is our torque. Okay, and then so we can calculate that value. So uh, 30 uh, times 10 to the 3 um, times 130 times uh, 10 to the minus 3. All right, so we get 3,900 uh, 3, Newton meters of torque acting around the centroid of this section here. Now, uh, the theory that we're going to apply um, looks similar to the kind of theory that we've used when we've tried to calculate the shear stress um, acting on a component due to torque. Um, we'll look at that. Um, so.